Okay, now we're going to look at the next example and we are going to use the other approach of using our calculators to get the answers. This will save you time in the exams. It is necessary that you go through the first video to learn the steps on how to do this should you be asked to show working for this particular examples. Looking at this example, we find that our first input is minus 2 and then we will substitute this into the given expression in the box. I've entered the expression into the calculator and in place of the x, you notice I've substituted the minus 2 which is our first input and uh, if you find below the expression on the calculator, my answer will be minus 4. Please make sure that you enter the correct expression as it appears in the box because I remind you under exam conditions sometimes we tend to rush and uh, enter the expression incorrectly even into our calculators. I've now in entered this in line with the input of minus 2 and you find my answer is minus 4. Entering our next number which is minus 1 and substituting that into the expression we arrive at the answer minus 3. Remember with the, a bit of calculator skills with the newer calculators you can move your arrow keys and uh, substitute the number in the expression and when you press your equals to it will give you your new answer this can be done with a little bit of practice or uh, at a later stage i will do a video on calculator skills our next uh, number to substitute is zero and we put this into the calculator and we find that we arrive at the answer minus two at this point you can pause the video and enter the last substituted number which is 2 into your calculator and test to see if you arrive at the answer and this will be shown to you in the next slide I hope that you have arrived at this answer which is 0 and uh, now that you understand this section best of luck to you we will be doing much more detailed examples in the next videos to come thanks for watching God bless